Hey, my name is Peter. I'm an interaction designer here at Emac Creator. Here I'm going to show you how to create links for a link importer in InDesign and Acrobat Pro. I'm sitting in InDesign here with a document with some placeholder text and a shape. There are a few ways to create links in InDesign. I'm going to show you two of them. And uh, one way is to select some text here, right click, Interactive, new hyperlink. I'm going to create a URL link to some site. Okay. Another way is if I select a shape, it could be an image. You select the object, you right click, interactive, new hyperlink. And you could create another URL link, but I'm going to create an email link to my mail at my site. I'm going to type in a subject line here. It could be a check this out. Okay. Down here, I have some more placeholder text with some links. I'm going to leave them as they are, and uh, use Acrobat to import those links. So that's it for now in InDesign. I just export it and some, call it some name and save. When you are in the export panel here, make sure that you have hyperlinks included and you just export. That opens up Acrobat Pro. Here. When you mouse over, you can see it has created a link to some side, and this is a mail to link. Down here, you can see it has that Acrobat recognizes the links, but if you compare them to this link, you can see there's double V on the mouse cursor, and it's not down here. So you need to make sure that the double V is the mouse cursor by going to Advanced, Document Processing, Create Links from URLs, and, all right, you can see that two web, link, web links has been added, and OK. And that's it. That's how you import in Acrobat. You just save now, and you go into Emacs Studio. Create a new Emac, select the PDF we just created, go to Wizard, and in this Wizard you select Navigation, and here you see Import Links, you select that. Now you can uh, select how your links are going to look. You can change clock color, um, for example green, and the opacity of the link. I'm going to make sure you can see the links. I'm just going to put up the opacity a bit up and click OK. Here you see that four links were added, so all of our links were added. And here you can see the links, like that. If we preview it now, you can see that our links were added with a nice little rollover effect. And that's basically it.